Hey, what's up, shit smokers? Long Ashes of CraftCigar.com with another solo review. This week's review is the Cuban Primeros. It's made by a company named Primeros, and the line of cigars that they make is called the Primeros Regionals. Uh, the point of these cigars is to mimic or replicate the taste of the various different regions that uh, cigars usually come from. Uh, this one being Cuban. Uh, and I guess they try to mimic the taste of Cuban tobacco as much as possible with staying within the uh, you know legal constraints of what they could do. Uh, therefore, the insides of this is actually Nicaraguan. This cigar is made up of Nicaraguan tobacco uh, with a Corojo wrapper, and uh, they use Cuban seed for the tobacco. Uh, uh, Primero stands for first, but these are considered more like seconds. You can get them for about a dollar eighty a stick, and they come in wheels of forty. That's basically a bundle uh, for forty nine ninety five. So you got to buy forty of them. Uh, overall, just looking at the cigar, it, it's definitely pretty ugly looking. Uh, it's got some uh, splotches and discoloration across the stick, and uh, it pretty large veins. The smell of it too. I've already smelled it. Uh, is a really nasty kind of cow patch barnyard type smell, just real strong, like emanating from the stick itself. So, uh, I mean, I've had cigars that have actually tasted good that even though they have that earthy barnyard type smell, so I can't really pass judgment on that. But overall, presentation wise, this is definitely not a good cigar so far. Uh, pre light draw was pretty decent, uh, it didn't seem like it was uh, uh, pulling back on me at all. It, pretty pretty uh, good loose draw there so hopefully I won't have any issues with uh, burn or draw because of that but we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and light this up and I'll have a little bit more information about uh, sizes and uh, you know what they were thinking with this uh, in the middle of the review when I come back so we'll light it up and uh, smoke it down a little bit and I'll be back in a second. Hey I'm back uh, smoking the Cuban Primeros so far, I'm going to have to say dog turd level, uh, unfortunately. I saw a couple people on the Cigar.com forum saying that they actually enjoyed this stick. Uh, maybe they haven't had anything better before, but this is pretty bad. This is actually on par with the uh, Po' Boy sampler from uh, Cigars International. I, you know, I probably wouldn't even pay a buck for something like this. It, it has somewhat of a woody taste, so there's something there, but then... It also has a very bitter and green uh, ammonia taste. So something that probably has not been fermented very long or, or at all, for that matter. Uh, just thrown out on the truck and, and sold. That's, that's what I'm getting from this. I'm also getting some uh, burn issues. And unlike the pre-light draw, the draw on this is actually kind of hard because of the burn issues, I believe. Let me zoom in here so you can actually see this. This is pretty bad. If you actually see, okay, look at that. You can actually see that. It's pretty horrible. All the way around there. I mean, I'll be able to fix that with the lighter, but I mean that's just crazy. If you, you could probably look at the different color discolorations too by having it zoomed in. See that? It's pretty, uh, pretty splotchy there. But that's the Cuban Primeros. Pretty basic label too. So far, dog turd. I would not suggest this as of yet. Maybe it'll get a little bit better in the, in the middle once I fix the uh, the burn issues. Maybe then it might be acceptable for uh, acceptable for a dollar eighty. But uh, right now I'm just not seeing it. So uh, unfortunately, I'm going to continue to smoke this. And when I come back. Uh, hopefully it won't suck. Be back in a second. Hey, what's up? I'm back. And uh, <coughs> still smoking the uh, Cuban Primeros. Ugh. Pretty bad. It actually got worse. That uh, nasty cow patch smell that I was smelling earlier, I'm actually tasting now. It's like freaking uh, barnyard in your mouth. You don't want it. Uh, you know, I, I, I can't believe that there was actually somebody who really liked this. 
uh, even if they were used to like White Owl or Swisher Sweet or something, I just can't believe that anyone would, you know, really want to smoke this. I mean, this is probably either on par with that, or maybe even worse. Uh, this really tastes like the uh, Raji's Untimely Demise and the Ron Mexico from the Po' Boy sampler on CI site. <clears throat> pretty bad. The burn is uh, pretty horrible too. I've had to fix it about two or three times now. And uh, the ash is like hard as a rock. It's pretty crazy. I'll zoom in one more time here just to show you. But look at this thing. It's doing like the, the little pyramid type of deal. And, it, and this is actually after me fixing it a little bit too. It's just horrible. Uh, the draw is pretty much about the same. Uh, just really harsh notes too. It has not been real smooth for me at all. And uh, yeah, not liking it. I, I would not suggest getting this. This is definitely dog turd. This might even be shitty as shit category. We'll find out here in a second. But uh, I'm going to keep smoking this, unfortunately. And uh, when I want to come back. Hopefully, I'll be done because I don't want to smoke this anymore. Uh, be back in a second. Hey, I'm back. Still smoking the uh, Cuban Primeros. And it's just a lost cause, really. This is definitely a dog turd. Um, definitely on par with the uh, Po' Boy sampler, like the Raji's Untimely Demise, and the Ron Mexico, which is absolutely horrible. This is pushing horrible. Uh, dog turd category. Every once in a while you'll get a taste of some cedar and a little bit, a little bit of cream, but it's few and far between. Most of it's just that ammonia taste, real harsh smoke, burn issues all the way through, and just not worth smoking at all. Uh, you know, I'm gonna do my due diligence and smoke it down to the nub if I can, but uh, not giving this one a good rating. Stay away from it. If it's offered in a sampler, you're probably not gonna want to smoke this. You might. You know, you give it to uh, uh, somebody you don't really like too much, or maybe they don't know too much about cigars. You might be able to give them this, and they wouldn't know the difference. But uh, to an actual cigar smoker, someone who smokes daily or you know uh, enjoys good s smokes, you you would not like this at all. Really bad. Ugh. <coughs> yeah, I, I can't. I I'm actually thinking about putting this thing out here soon. I'm going to try to smoke it down, but it's that bad. Stay away. I'm going to keep smoking this, and uh, hopefully I make it to the nub, and I'll be back to report. Back, finishing out the uh, Cuban Primeros, unfortunately. Dog turd, if I've ever seen one. Not a good smoke. Uh, there was a few people online that actually liked these. I don't really understand why, but... I guess there's somebody out there who likes them. I, on the other hand, do not like this at all. This is on par with the Poe Boy sampler from Cigars Internationals. Uh, same as the Raji's Untimely Demise and the Ron Mexico. Pretty bad stuff. Uh, you can get these for $1.80 a stick if you want them. They come in wheels of 40. Uh, I guess that's just their, their term for uh, a bundle, but... For forty nine ninety five, they're about a buck eighty a stick. Uh, Cuban Primeros, it's part of Primeros uh, regional line. Primeros stands for first. These are more like seconds. Hell, these are more like thirds. But uh, the different regions you can smoke are the Honduran, Dominican, Cuban, Nicaraguan, and Costa Rican. The Cuban comes in a Churchill, Double Corona, Robusto, and Toro. It's a seven by fifty, seven point five by fifty, five point or 5x50 and a 6x50. This is the Churchill that I was smoking today. Uh, medium to full body is what they say. I would say more like uh, definitely medium bodied at the most. Uh, Nicaraguan, Cuban seed, tobaccos, Corojo wrapper. It's pretty much it. Not very thrilling. In fact, uh, it'd be like if you went to a play or something and you know you have the opportunity of uh, having 
a really good movie or a good play that you're watching, something that was that you were able to sit through, but you know you wouldn't watch it again, or just something that was complete utter crap, and you would never uh, you know watch that movie again, or you would not recommend uh, people watching it. In fact, you would actually go out of your way to tell people not to watch it. That is what this cigar is. It's crap, utter crap. Uh, you know, I, I put it down several times. I had to stop smoking it for a while just because of the it, the, it was so harsh. The taste was, you know, just horrible. Burn issues all the way through. Uh, draw issues all the way up until about, uh, you know, three-fourths of the stick. It finally started to fix itself draw issue-wise then, but too little too late on that as well. Uh, do not pick up this cigar. There are so many other better cigars in this price range. You know, you can spend an extra 20 cents a stick and get uh, Grand Habano Vintage or, you know, spend a little bit more and get Reposado or Cuba Libre or something else that, you know, you would actually enjoy smoking. So just stay away. This is Long Ashes at CrapCigar.com and we smoke the shit so you don't have to.